Hello and welcome to uh, a little blog I'm going to do about starting to play the melodeon. Um, a few years ago I did put something on YouTube and it was me playing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star and it was called First Steps on the Melodeon. And I have to be honest, I didn't play a single thing after that. That was it. I, I made that video and um, that was the end of it. So I never carried on. In between I've been learning to play uh, English concertina and I've really really enjoyed it and I've been playing that for about a year so I'm not too bad um, I can hold a good tune on it and it's a nice little thing to play fits very well into your hands and had a lot of enjoyment from it and my husband um, he's got quite a good presence on YouTube I think uh, people probably uh, know him uh, it's Daddy Long Les on the uh, YouTube channel he, he's been playing melodeon quite a bit and just recently I started to think well I'd quite like to have another go and uh, suddenly out of the blue this week he I came home from work he said don't take your coat off uh, we're going out and I couldn't, didn't know what he was going to do and then I realised straight away he, we were going to visit our local wonderful melodeon repair person Martin White um, he lives up the road from us and this is my birthday and Christmas present. Um, it's combined because my birthday is in December, very close to Christmas. So, um, and it needs to be combined. <laughs> obviously, as you can see, this is quite a big present for somebody to buy you. Um, and obviously my husband must have enormous faith in me. Uh, not quite sure why, but he obviously thinks I'm going to get the hang of it and have another go. Well, well yes, I better now, because I've got this, this beautiful Hona Poker work. Um, God, it's, it's, isn't it lovely? It really is. It's probably 1950s. It's an amazing condition. Everything is lovely on it. There's a couple of tiny little marks you wouldn't see. So here we go. Um, so this is going to be like a proper beginner. Um, and I'm going to leave mistakes in. I'm going to let people see how actually it's quite hard to play. All those people on the internet who can play so well and look so flash, it's not like that at all. It's really, really hard. You're doing four things. You're, you're playing buttons here, you, which are different on the way out and on the way in. You're playing basses here um, and of course, you know, there, there's a couple of rows of those. You have to know where you're going with the various umpars, which aren't being played at the same time as the buttons on this side. And you've got bellows that are going in and out. It's four things. And then your brain trying to interpret what's on a piece of paper in terms of music. It's, it's actually all very incredibly hard. So this is um, the complete, honest, no swear words, I promise. <laughs> Otherwise I'd have to have bleeps going on. Um, if I wasn't on camera, I might be swearing. I'm really sorry, there might be a few rude words. Um, but I will try and um, contain all that. And uh, all the animals are locked out in the room. Cats out, dogs out, bit of peace. Uh, this is a rare event for me. And hopefully maybe I will continue with this and uh, come back and play something more for you. This is Bobby Shafto. I played Twinkle Twinkle Little Star first time round. I probably need to go back to that and revise it. But here we go, this is Bobby Shafto, um, and it's not too bad. You, you play it on two different rows, which is nice. You play it on the G row and you play it on the D row. Oh, this is a GD Melodeon, third button star. I've been learning stuff. Um, so the G row is the row nearest to the body of the Melodeon, third button is G, and then on the outside row the third button is D. Um, and so playing different chords in the bass, you're playing a G chord and a D chord. When you play the D chord and you're on the outer row, it's the buttons above, the two buttons above, which, which match. Um, it's technical. Don't ask me why. So glasses on and hopefully I can see the music from here so I'm in the camera as well. Here we go. Um, excuse the huge bellows. There's a bit of pulling out in, in between things because I haven't got bellow control. <laughs> It's funny, doesn't it? I'm sure that will come. Uh, so yeah, completely honest beginner, beginner, um, beginner at blogging as well, obviously, because I'm tongue-tied. Here we go. This is Bobby Shafto. <laughs> D. 
same thing. <laughs> I like. Should <laughs> 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 we try a second time round and try not to make those terrible mistakes? Here's some other bash. Should we go? Oh, doing well. <laughs> out. the melodian nervousness I call it, you're, you're sort of panic stricken when um, you, you think to yourself so is that the next note above pulling out or is it the next button above when I pull out and this is also this is a terrible sort of moment when you think you know, so like I had that G which went up to an A in Bobby Shafter and I think so is the G on the push is it in the A on the pull oh yes it is but you have to stop and think and it drives you insane um, <laughs> but isn't it lovely? Isn't it great fun? And, and I think that's that's the, that's why this thing is addictive. It actually is fun, and it's a, a mental exercise of um, all those things coming together. And if like me, you're not in the uh, springtime of your you know years, you know it's, what was that? Yeah. Anyway, you're not young. I'm trying to find a nice way to say that I'm old. Um, if you're older, this is good for the grey matter. Um, it should keep you uh, occupied like Sudoku or something like that, but isn't it great fun? Anyway, here we go. First blog. Um, I shall edit this down maybe a tiny bit. I don't know. We'll see. Or shall I just leave it exactly as it is? I'll leave it exactly as it is. Then you can see the truth. And um, be encouraged. If you, if you want to pick one of these up and learn it, be encouraged. This is my journey. This is day, well actually, to be honest, this is day four because I practiced a couple of evenings this week after work. So this is maybe after five hours of a bit of practicing. Um, so it's not entirely beginner, but it is after five hours and I, I go once before. So keep with it, um, enjoy it and come back and see my progress. That would be really nice. I'd love to uh, see you again. Okay, bye.